was a local station, Channel 4. Uh, we were talking uh, live online with uh, the uh, news desk, talking about the auction that just started here about uh, one hour ago. And uh, here in another, probably an hour, all of our uh, items, all 29 items will be live on Bring a Trailer for an entire week. And they're all gonna end on the same day, next Wednesday the 14th, starting at around uh, 10 a.m. They will start selling. So if you weren't interested in any of my cars, get on there and get you some. Thank you for your help. You too. So there, 44,000. So 44,000. Uh, yes, Triple R going to Texas. Going to Texas. You just heard your name on the TV. Did you see the price? Yeah. <laughs> so I told you I was going to start collecting some different kind of cars, and uh, we just banged ourselves a 1994 Supra, right hand drive, imported, and only 14,000 original miles silver on black. So get you some of that. Got to be paying attention. Chris is going to shit his pants. Hey. Hello? Yeah. I guess they know what they want in that room. Why? Because I bought it for 44 grand. <laughs> you are fucking I am not joking. <laughs> you too. Well uh, yeah, well, you know all the people in that market. Sell it for me and let's make about 100 grand on it. Oh, fucking hell, that's nice. That is freaking rad, dude. 14,000 original miles import car, all the import documentation, everything ready to rock. Silver, black, and uh, right hand drive. That's gonna look pretty cool at Cars and Coffee, right? No dumb, you fucking jealous. Yes, be fucking jealous. Hey, okay. you wouldn't have fucking bought it without me, homie. I wouldn't, man. I had to call you just to make sure. Uh, you know, but uh, you're my JDM specialist now, even though you're a Brit. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Alright, bro, hammer. Later. Alright. Bye. <laughs> he should really build that car. Sell the car. What do you mean build it? It's Sell built. the car. Nah. Yeah, but it could be so much fucking cooler. Do I need some JDZs and a Nas or something? Some JDZs? What is it? Two JZs and a Two JZ. Two JZs and a Nas. I don't know. There's no ass up in the 2JZ. See, sounds like that. <laughs> Jace, get the truck, let's go. All right, so, man, it's, I'm getting tired and it's only three o'clock in the afternoon, but check it out. Um, I just bought the Supra uh, on the phone, bidding uh, from here in Dallas, uh, all the way up in Indiana. Killer deal, I am excited about that. While I was doing that, I was negotiating with a dude over in Fort Worth for this 72 Pinto, old time looking uh, 70s race car. And uh, I think it's a pretty good car the way he described it to me. Uh, he seemed to know what he's talking about. So we're gonna go try to buy that real fast. Simultaneously, uh, our Gorilla Pro truck had just left the shop after being serviced uh, after its first long trip. And uh, they hit a pothole and popped one of the tires. So they're about 200 miles to the east of Dallas. And we're trying to get a tire emergency rushed over to them uh, and get them to a truck stop so they can get that fixed and uh, get back on the road because they've got to be at a show in Memphis. And uh, if that's not enough, here in just a second, I'm going to be getting a phone call on a 65 Ferrari and also a 68 Ferrari uh, a little bit right after that. So <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Keep watching. I don't exactly think that I'm going to get the Ferraris bought, but I might. Spoiler alert, you did not buy the two Ferraris. Uh, so 
it would be a weird day even for Gas Monkey uh, and some of the crazy stuff we've done to add a uh, right hand drive uh, Toyota Supra, a uh, 72 Pinto race car, and a Ferrari to the stable. We'll just have to see what happens. This week has been pretty wild actually. It's freaking nuts, man. I'm glad it's Friday. So you guys heard me talking about Pintos last week. As a matter of fact, I won a $100 bet from uh, Sinjin, the chief millennial. And uh, sometimes when you put things out there, the karma, just the collective energy of desiring one, they show up. And so I found this one here in Fort Worth, and we're gonna try to buy it. You Mr. Wilson? Yes, sir. What's up, sir? I'm Wayne Cooley, good to meet you. All righty, all righty, Wayne. So this is her, huh? Yes, that's it, keys and ignition. 71, oh, 72. 72. I'm just worried about the body, Chase. That's what we want to know about. Okay. Um, we don't change everything else. This is the part I told you right yeah. here. Yeah. This, this is only really. Yeah, we got a little, little bit trunk. of rust there. Let's look in the trunk. Yeah, for sure. Right. You got that universal key driver? Yes, I do. All right. That's probably what happened. Somebody tried to patch that. Yeah, this side's great and the trunk floor is great. So you're probably right. They probably had a blowout on this side at once. They got a little piece of metal in there you can feel. Nah, that ain't that big of a deal. No, nah, that's easy. Inside here, structure all looks good still. Floors are clean. Well, let's take a look at the goods. So we're missing the original grill. Okay, so that's how they're cooling it off. That has a and they switch. took the original grill out, but all this still looks original, right? Chase. Yeah. So we could go back. Core sports cut a little bit, but I'm sure you can find a core sport pretty easily. How long you had this car? Oh, a couple of years. All right, let's lock down the hood. I'll just go to the car show, that's it. And if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and you don't remember that, well, you're way too young. <laughs> or you didn't grow up here. Talking about this hood. Uh, Anything I need to know? Yeah. You push this button here to start it above our seat. Yeah, right. Okay. Right. And this, this is a hot switch. <laughs> <laughs> if you go a long way, that's the that's the thing for the fan right there. The switch. Oh, turn it on. Yeah. Right. It's been said, I mean, I mean, they could use the tune up for good gas. And this, you know, oops, excuse me. This is what you got to push to get the key out. Yep. I remember they did that for some crazy reason. They didn't need to. It's all right. Well, can I take her for a ride? Yeah. Kick ass. Might ought to check the brakes first. Yes, they work. They work ish. Neat, man. You know, I gotta admit, it. I've always wanted one of these little hopped up jobbers. It's got a cool look to it, too. All right, my man, what's the bottom line? What do you take today? Oh, uh, well, a few people's called, but you know, you're here and I like the show, so you know, I, it was 158, I let you have 55. I was thinking like 35. <laughs> 
Oh no, I can't do that. Come on, man. No, I can't do that. Ain't no way, man. All right. I can't, I, I'm too How much about of, five? 52, that'll weigh to pay his fee. All right, you got a deal. Kick ass. We're gonna get this I loaded. Love show. I love your show, man. I gotta call Tony, I gotta get some parts going. Hey man, I just bought a 72 Pinto. Little hot rod from like tricked out back in the late 70s, early 80s. See if you can find me an original hood for one and an original grill. It's a little short back. Okay, 72 hood and grill. I need a hood. It just needs to be a good one. Doesn't have to be, you know, unbelievable. And I need a grill. And I need the chrome for around the windshield. Stainless. Okay. It's got the back seat, everything else. That's it for now. Just start trying to find that stuff. Plenty of speakers. So I figured I'd put one on there. <laughs> Since I'm a fan of the KZEW, we're going to be our own little uh, tribute. Boom. Where do you think that came from? I wonder why I thought about that years ago. And of course, Sold and going to gas, Bucky. All right, hey, Pips, uh, Chase, get back here. So uh, the Pinto's here. But uh, what I need first, I think, this. Quit playing around with Mr. Clean and get back here and let's talk <laughs> Mr. Clean. about the Pinto. Uh, I, I think you can step Phipps on it uh, if you want to, but I just want a bill of health. You know, how's it run? How's it idle? The brakes obviously were sketchy the other day uh, a little bit. I don't want to adjust anything. I just want to know what I have. I've got Tony finding us a grill and a hood. Because I, I don't want a, a big jacked up hood. I want a smooth hood. Well, so when we do anything to this, we and the engine swap it. Does, we're going to have to put it farther back. Right? Why don't we engine swap it? Why don't we just put like the, the only gears that'll make it do a wheelie? We only want to go 10 miles an hour pacing straight up. Right. I get it. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what, well, I mean, the radiator. Kind of a dangerous situation, especially if you're doing wheelies. But this car was meant to just go straight down quarter mile. No, Phipps, this car was meant to be an economical family motivator and mover down the road while gas was going sky high in 1972 before they invented the, what I call the rubber bumper cars, which means they had the big shocks in them in 17 inches between the bumper and the actual car. Those days were long gone on this car. Yeah. Well, it runs and drives. I mean, it kicks through the gears. It does what it's supposed to do, but so I want to make, you remember Jim Haddon around the corner? Sure, sure, sure. He used to race a Pinto. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got a picture of that car. Yeah, he was the guy that uh, raced the Super Snake. Um, yeah. First, first drag car, Carol Phil. Yeah, yeah. And Shelby Ford, Super Snake. And then Ford. And he went and bought it brand new. Is it San Angelo or El Paso, I think? San Angelo, maybe. And drilled holes in it, made it into Swiss cheese, and made a freaking uh, drag car out of a, a Shelby GT500. Okay, Jesus. so then Ford talked him into selling that and campaigning one of their newer ones. And that car, that car recently sold for like what, 1.6 million or something? Yeah, it sold for a lot of money. But I wouldn't mind building a cool little drag car out of this, have a little fun. But really, oh, you got, you got to get started. I'd rather have a, a just a wheel stander. I want to be able to stop at the driveway right there at, at the garage door, drag the pop door. a wheelie and shut it down and stop before we get to the end of the parking lot. All right, cool. Let's give it a bill of health in the morning. What's up everybody? So uh, it's auction day down here in Dallas. Uh, the Meekum auction is going on and uh, I'm here chasing some Fords. They've got about 200 uh, like 1930 to 1936 Fords all going at no reserve. Uh, I bought one yesterday online but I got to get down here today see what the other ones look like. There's a couple of Zephyrs in there I wouldn't mind owning. So let's go spend some money. 
So what they're going to do first is they're going to run some little stuff, big deal. Then they'll get into uh, running the cars. Um, the first probably 50, 60 cars are going to go no reserve. That means whatever they bring, they bring. And uh, I have personally never seen this many early Fords in one place, even at the early Ford show. Uh, there's probably 18 or 19 windows in this building for sale at no reserve. I don't even know if there's 18 or 19 people that want one.
that's the shit. We can go drink it now. Look at this. Zephyrs all the way. This is one of the few things that I believe in as far as the 30s and 40s and 50s not ever going out of style. This is just pure Art Deco gold. This is sex right here. All the way. We're going to have uh, 38, 39, and 40. I got 39 and 40. we got to wait till Saturday to see what happens. So it's uh, Friday of the auction, and I'm going back down. I've got a 39 Zephyr and a 40 Zephyr. Uh, some kind of dragster thing and uh, there's a 38 Zephyr this morning so uh, we're running a little bit late but we should get there in time and uh, try to make the trifecta of Zephyrs let's see what happens yeah, one more thing so check it out right now you got like four days I think left to enter to win the 68 Mustang Thomas Crown Affair uh, recreation that we built. It's $175,000 package. The car plus 25 G's cash. If you're not on GasMoneyGarage.com, as I'm speaking, you don't know what's happening. But I told you, so you should know. It's a 1934. But I just realized that it's blue, not black, and I don't buy blue. F13 to 1939 Lincoln Zephyr Coupe steel body. It's got a 267, 110 horsepower flathead V12 engine. Three-speed manual transmission, four-wheel hydraulic drum brakes, no reserve. Selling it, no reserve. I've got 10,000. Anybody get 15,000? Anybody get 10, 15, 20? And 20, baby. Anybody get 20? Anybody get 20? Anybody get 5? Anybody get 5? 30. And 30, baby. Anybody get 30? Anybody get 5? 45. I have 40, baby. Anybody get 5? 50. And 55, 60. And 60,000. Anybody get 60? And 60,000. Anybody get 60, baby. Anybody get 65? That's the way. 65, 70. And 70. Anybody get 70? Anybody get 75? At 75, anybody get 5? 5, 70, 75. At 70,000, anybody get 75? 80. At 80, anybody get 80? 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 Anybody get so, $75,000, Jamie on the telephone, so, F13.1, F13.29, Ford Mustang Roadster, steel body right hand drive, 201 flat head, updraft carburetor, got the flying goose, an ornament right there, no reserve, at 20, baby, anybody get 20, anybody get 15, 25. Bad 20, baby, anybody get 25, 30, roll it, 30, baby, anybody get 30, anybody get 5, baby, anybody get 40, at 40, baby, anybody get 40, anybody get 40, baby, you got 45, at 45, 40, bad, 45, I have 40, baby, anybody get 5, baby, anybody get 5, baby, anybody get 40, bad, 45, ah! now 50, I have 45, baby, no, I got 45 with Alex, 50, 45, baby, anybody get 50,000, anybody get 50, at 45, baby, anybody get 50,000, anybody get 55, at 50, baby, anybody get 55, I have 50, baby, anybody get 55,000, anybody get 55, Ryan, you're 50, now 55, at 50, baby, anybody get 55, I have 50, baby, anybody get 55,000, anybody get 55, at 55, at 55,000, anybody get 55, 50, 5, no, 5, back at you, 55, I will take 52, 5 if you want to do it, there you 52, go, 5, 51, 52, put a 2, 3, 53, 52, you want to get 53, ah! now 54, 53, 54, 53, 54. <laughs> 60 would be nice. Deja vu. I feel like I've been here before. Do you want to get 55? No. I'm out. No? 20, 20, baby. You want to get 20, you want to get 5? 30, at 30, baby, you get 5, you get 40, baby, drop it away, 5, at 45, baby, you get 5, 5, 40, baby, 5, baby, you get 50, 
50. At 50, man, you better get 50, you get 5, man, you better get 60. At 60, man, you better get 60, man, you get 60. This one's got the pretty rare clock in the dash, and it's got the cigar lighter, which uh, is really rare um, to find those, because they usually got lost. I mean, look at this little button that rolled out of the car and what have you. So uh, pretty stoked on this purchase. Uh, this is gonna work for show. So uh, we just left the auction. Uh, I didn't get the, 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 the hat trick on the Zephyrs. Uh, the 38 Zephyr just went a little too high. But uh, at the end of the day, I got two good Zephyrs yesterday, a, a 39 and a 40. And uh, <clears throat> today we bought a 1933 uh, Ford Phaeton, which is a four-door convertible. Pretty rare car. I thought it was a good price, so I went ahead and uh, put my hand in the air. Uh, and then uh, we're on our way back to the shop because uh, I think you guys saw me uh, bid on a Toyota Supra. Uh, last weekend online at an auction and uh, the guys tell me that it just got there. So I'm pretty stoked about it. It's got a right hand drive. Uh, it's an export car. It's got 13,000 miles on it. I don't know how many kilometers that is because I didn't do drugs as a kid so I don't really know the metric system. But uh, at the end of the day, we got that thing there. We got a few cars to pick up at uh, the auction over the weekend and uh, now it is officially F-Hit Friday. Woo! Let's go. 